Hey everyone, it's Jessica Stokes again, and this is video two of three covering the basics, or some of the basics of our school. It includes Summit Learning, Power Schools, and Fresh Academy. For this second video, we're gonna be focusing on Power Schools, so let's go ahead and dive in. When you're accessing Power Schools, you'll head to rths.powerschools.com uh, to access your parents' sign-in. Um, Already earlier this week, you should have received your username and password for the parent access to Power Schools. So you can use that to log in. If you're curious about your students log in, that information will be coming out later this week. Uh, so wait on that just for a couple days and then you'll have information as to how your student can log into Power Schools. Now, any questions that you have about parent or student access to Power Schools, please direct them to tech, T-E-C-H, at rthighschool.org, and they can answer your questions. Now, once you log into Power Schools, you'll see something along the lines of this, and we want to focus on the Grades and Attendance tab. Uh, when you access that tab, you'll be able to see your uh, students' teachers, their classes, and also their room numbers. You'll also be able to see your students' grades. Now, we have two types of classes at our school. The first is the Summit class. So Summit class grades um, are broken down into S1, which is the cumulative year grade, that one grade that the student has for the entire year as they continue to learn. We talked about that in our last video, and that's 80% of their grade. You'll also see E1, which is the final exam that they'll take at the end of the year, which is 20% of their grade. And then at the very, very end of the year, you'll see F1, which is their final grade, which is the total of this 80 and 20%, which is 100%. So just those three items uh, making up the kind of scoring for summit classes. Now, for the majority of math classes and AP classes, scoring is done a little bit differently due to curriculum needs. So you'll see S1 for semester one, which is 40% of the student's grades, S2 semester two, which is 40% of the student grade, E1, which is the final exam, 20% of the grade, and F1, which is the final grade, which is 100%. So you'll be able to easily see that located here. Um, and depending on the type of class, whether it is summit class or if it's a math or AP, you will see the grades accordingly. Now, when you click on a class, it'll take you into the class itself. And um, for summit classes, you'll see three items. You'll see project, PFAs are power focus areas, and AFAs are additional focus areas. And we learned what those were in our last video. So you'll see the scores for those in here. Or if it's a math or AP class for the majority of those, you'll see it more traditionally demonstrated where you see each of the assignments and how the student's done on it. But what's really important here are two symbols that will pop up for you. So the first symbol we wanna be aware of is this orange one, the orange explanation point, which denotes that something is missing. A teacher will use this, um, they'll use the missing symbol. If, the, if your student is missing work or has work that needs heavy edits and they have not done those edits so far. Um, so missing and incomplete work. So if you see this orange symbol, that indicates that you wanna to talk to your student about work they need to make up and if you're having trouble um, kind of getting that to happen it's a good time to contact your teacher or the freshman seminar lead that your student has um, and this is why because the student has until the end of the quarter to submit missing work then it is permanently missing resulting in a negative buy from their final grade so say your student has something assigned at the very beginning of the year and they don't do it and we get this missing mark put on there and they still don't do it. By the end of quarter one, they will no longer be able to make up that missing assignment and they will lose five points from their final, like that 100% grade. And we're gonna talk about the reason why in a moment, but I do wanna make this very clear that it's very important when this missing symbol comes up that we resolve the missing work by the end of the quarter because at that point, we're gonna move on to the upcoming work so that your student can continue moving forward. Now there will be more assistance than just this orange symbol. We also will be using this other symbol that's called has comment, which means that the teacher has a comment. So in addition to the missing symbol, the teacher will leave information concerning the student work that is missing or that needs edits. So they will include the name 
of the assignment that's missing. They will include um, uh, when the student has has to have it turned in by, so quarter one, two, three, or four. And they'll also provide a reminder that if the student doesn't turn it in by that time, they'll receive negative five points from their final grade. So when navigating power schools, these are the two things you wanna look out for and use to be able to easily understand whether your student is falling behind and what they need to do to catch up. Now let's talk about the reason why we have that minus five from final grade policy for outstanding work that's not made up by the end of the quarter. So in our previous video, we talked about how students are graded multiple times based upon cognitive skills. So for instance, if we zoom in here, this student has been graded on theme and central idea, development, and selection of evidence, and they've received a 3.5, 4.5, and 4. So during the second semester, they will be assessed on these again for the second or possibly a third time. And there's a possibility that the scores will go up. Maybe this turns into a 5. Maybe this turns into a 5.5. Maybe this turns into a 4.5. And so that improvement will increase their grade because the highest cog skill that a student receives, the highest score that a student receives for the skill is what sticks. And so we know some teenagers, they figure out loopholes. And so we had some kids who realized that they don't need to do anything for a semester. And as long as they perform well second semester, they can still get an A in the class. But what actually happens is the student doesn't do anything first semester, then they start working second semester, but they don't do well because they haven't learned anything. And then they don't have the opportunity to increase their grade. And so in order to provide um, an extrinsic motivator, a way to make sure that students are gradually learning throughout the year so that they're truly learning, we implemented this minus five, um, essentially uh, extrinsic motivator. Um, that way students continue moving forward, they continue doing their work and their grade at the end of the year accurately represents the amount of course material that they have covered. So that's a big one to make sure that you keep in mind and to remind your student of. Now this policy will appear in every single syllabus that your student has. Um, we will remind them in class. We'll send out email reminders when the end of the quarter is nearing. Um, so there will be reminders about this policy, but do keep it in mind should you see that bright orange exclamation point and that comment uh, symbol. All right, so that's how we're using Power Schools this year. If you have any questions, please email me and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.